Okay, in this video, I want us to talk about three things, right? We'll talk about three things. Number one, uh, remember VPS was EFF, right? EFF said, wait, uh, as far as we know, there was a person from ANC that was involved in that, okay? The minister that is now on the news. Uh, ANC has confirmed that she will first disciplinary hearing. And I'm like, hmm, that's quite interesting coming from ANC. I don't trust them, but... Just give them a benefit of the doubt. So she's going to be facing disciplinary hearing. So they say. But again, we've got another problem here. Another problem is the issue of the land. Well, a lot of people said they wanted the land. But there was an article, there's an article that was released by Daily Maverick showing us that billions and billions have been spent on the land. But people still don't have the land. I know you say, but Bongs, how come? I, I don't know myself how come the land is still not in the hands of the rightful owners. So there's this article from Daily Maverick that I want us to go through this article. It's a very interesting article. But there's another interesting aspect as well to this thing as well. It is the fact that he, it is the fact that there is um there is a there is a fight between E A C D P and E E A N C. A C D P says um we, we don't agree with this thing of GNU, GNU, GNU. And two, ANC are doing things the way they want. They don't even consult us to begin with. So we are not only an ally with people who doesn't even take our words serious. How are we, how do you think we are an ally? So Mbalula, look, uh, he told them the way to get off. Well, they have responded to Mbalula, defending their secretary, is it secretary general? They're like, uh uh, Solima Paele was right. Don't, do not. Don't, don't attack our Secretary General and think that we're going to keep quiet and, and, and say nothing. No, we will definitely defend that. But another problem that we have here is the issue of the land. Uh, you see, the issue of the land, guys, is a very interesting question when, when you think of it. Because um, we all talk about the land, the land, the land, and nobody wants to hear anything when you talk about the land. Everybody will tell you we want the land. But the following information is going to shock you. You will realize that hmm, we might get the land, like as in from them, but it might not reach the rightful owners. This is going to shock you. I know. I know, okay, when I was talking to somebody, was somebody was saying to me, yay, we need the land. Then I said, yay, when? Yay. You must study history. Even in Rome, the issue of the land was there. Did you know that? Live Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is a new thing. I read history from Rome. There was a land, uh, there was an expropriation of land without compensation in Rome. But when the land was expropriated, it never reaches it, it, local, the owners. Only few got their land back. Majority of the people, they never got their land back. Go and read history of Rome. Back, back, back in the days, land uh, expropriation of land without compensation is not a new thing. It's not a new phenomenon. So don't don't be mistaken in thinking that oh, you know, in South Africa we've come up with something new or we are following Zimbabwe. No, even Zimbabwe, what they are doing there, it's not something new. It happened back in the days. Well, there's something that is happening now as of you talking to me. It is this. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge. And that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as likely as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? We'll bring you more. And also guys wanna buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed right let's start with the issue here actp uh yeah in an article released by a what is this website 
I'm just reading from any website. Eh, I don't even know what the name of the episode is, but let's read. Anyway, Johannesburg, the young Communist League of South Africa, right, has came strongly defending, uh, de defending of the South African Communist Party, ACT. D A look S A C P right General Secretary so Lima Pail against what they term it a verbal diarrhea from the ANC Secretary General Figal and Balula. This look intense political discourse has cast a spotlight on the fragile nature of the um, look of the tripartite alliance between the African National Congress and the SACP. Congress of South Africa Trade Union, COSATU, uh, with the GNU being the clux of the connection. <laughs> Whoa. Uh, <laughs> Mbalula, known for his outspoken nature, took to social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, to voice his displeasure of or uh, displeasure with Solima Paile's recent comment regarding the ANC political trajectory uh, and the decision to form a government of national unity with the Democratic Alliance DA. Mbalula's series of tweets have ignited a fierce response from the uh, Youth League YEM SACP. Okay, they are like Mbalula. So there's a long list of things that uh, they said here, which I don't think I want to go through that. But you know what I want to go through is this one. Let's talk about the minister of uh, the, uh, the minister of the, look, this woman who was involved in a VPS scandal. She must report. ANC Secretary General Figel and Balula says, Justice Minister will face integrity inquiry over VPS allegation. Well, I know you said, but inquiry, we all know most what happened. Why are you inquiring something that is happening? African National Congress ANC Secretary General Figel Mbalula says Justice Minister Tembi Simelane will appear before the party's integrity commission in response to claim of uh, questionable activities in VPS scandal. Business that uh, local purportedly obtained illegal money from VPS Mutual Bank uh, lent Simelane uh, what is it? Five hundred and seventy-five thousand six hundred, according to reports. The loan was used to buy a coffee shop in Saint in Johannesburg. During this time, uh, Simelana served as a mayor of Polokwane, Limpopo, capital city. Mbalula said Simelana must provide a full report on the allegation brought against her. This is Mbalula saying. We are expecting a full report from her in terms of what has have, what has been reported. She must report, Mbalula said in an interview with an ENCA. President Ramaphosa has noted with concern media report containing allegation of corruption against the Minister of Justice, Justice and Constitutional Development, Ms. Tembi Simelan. The, me, the media reported linked the minister with monies alleged to have been received improperly from VPS Mutual Bank during her tenure as a mayor of Polokwane Municipality, the president said in a statement. Well, I'm going to ask you a question. If I was a thief, and I still... And... A group, look, uh, the, my, my colleagues or my friends are being targeted or being, you know, don't you think I will tell them that, hey, police are coming, guys, run. Don't you think so? So how do you expect one thief to discipline another thief? Hey, because that's impossible. But again, because the person here who's supposed to be disciplining this person, he himself has got to answer about the... The, 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 the pala pala thing he hasn't answered he's got his own shenanigans to deal with but he wants to tell us hi i'm gonna make sure there's no crime says a person who's accused of crime <laughs> <laughs> nearly three decades let's talk about land or expropriation of land without compensation because the other one it doesn't excite me anymore right Nearly three decades after South Africa's formal land claim process began in 1996, many farmland restitution projects are floundering or have collapsed. 
raising questions about the extent to which billions of rands state expenditure has been benefited the claimant community. And then, okay, uh, wait. The government has brought nearly 4 million hectares of land and spent at least 58 billion to compensate or restore ownership to black communities dispossessed of their ancestral property during colonization. Yet, nearly uh, yet, nearly three decades after the formal land claim process began in 1996, many of these uh, many of these project floundering have collapsed, raising questions about the extent to which billions of rands of state expenditure has benefited. Okay, we've already covered this one. It is all, it has also raised, raised broader concerns about the impact of national of national food security, rural rural jobs, animal disease control, and South Africans' agricultural economy. The article goes on and on and on and on and on and say the name things that I will not because I wouldn't have time to read the entire article about uh, about on the issues of land without expropriation and everything that you want to hear, all those nice things that you want to hear. But let me tell you this, maybe that you probably don't want to hear, is that uh, remember I told you about the story of Rome. Yeah, so you must go back to history. You're going to find something very interesting. You will find that during the times of uh, the kingdom of Rome, in case you don't know, uh, history traced there was a kingdom of Babylon which was succeeded by the Mede and Persia. From the Mede and Persia, I think it was the kingdom of Greece. From Greece, it was the kingdom of, um, I think from Greece, it was Rome. And then from Rome, it was the dividing of Rome. So you are talking of about BC, you know, BC coming to AD. When we arrived to AD during the birth of Jesus Christ, um, that is when Rome was now in charge. And though look, the, the cross that killed Jesus Christ was prepared by the Romans. So if you understand that bit of history. Now, the Romans had a problem. And one of the major problems of the Romans was that uh, there, were peop there were business people who bought the land and acquired land in Rome. Uh, it, it, not in the right way. So a lot of people from Rome did not have a land. A lot of them. And there was now... People in Rome started to complain, and there was this. Uh, in fact, they, look, two of their most prominent leaders successively won elections because they used the word, we're going to get the land, uh, we're going to do this land expropriation of land without compensation, we're going to get the land back. And people, because they were so eagerly interested to get the land back, people voted for, for those people. They voted for them to say, go get the land. Okay, what a nice story, right? So, finally, one of them gets the land. Now, the, 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 the government of the time has the land now. But now, listen to the biggest problem that they faced. Politicians saw an opportunity to enrich themselves. Few business people found that, found a few business people who were, really, who were friends to the same politicians benefited from the land. So, they got the land from most of the business people who were owning the land. They got it to themselves. But when it comes to distributing the land back to where it belongs, that's where the problem was. And I'm, I'm saying to you, 58 billion so far has been spent in acquiring the land back so it can be given to the rightful owners. But most rightful owners do not have the land which create a dilemma, which create another problem. Well, I'm just saying that we have got another, this problem, uh, comrades, right? That uh, people who should be getting the land, they're not getting the land. So, it's a nice topic to talk about land, uh, expropriation of land, without compensation. It's a nice topic. I mean, very interesting one. But to actually execute that, it's a different ball game altogether. You can't successfully uh, do that if you've got people who are driven by greedy. You cannot. It's nice. Land without expropriation. Yeah, land 
without expropriation. But what, what are you going to do with the greedy people there? I, I said the other time, I've got a problem with the fact that you go to PSL, Mutsipe is fa- like is funding P- uh, a lot of it's got a lot of funding on that is doing on the PSL. You go to the the the, the, the is it the first division or the second division? It's 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 under Mutsipe, completely under Mutsipe. You go to the the other one below that one. It is completely under Mutsipe. You go to the fa- further mo- down. It is Mutsipe, 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 Mutsipe. It is even if he's got the money, it's fine. But it is okay and also good for competition and growth that we have diversity in the investment. It was okay for us to have Glad Africa sponsoring the the, the, the league that was look that used to be called NFT. It was okay to have a diversity in this because it brings different thinking. But then when you have one person ruling everything, then that's a problem. I'm just saying. I'm just giving a practical example. It was mutsip, mutsip, mutsip. I was like, I remember even because uh, uh, telling us how they're going to assist. I'm like, ah man, nah, 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 nah. Something is wrong about this thing. You can't have mutsip, 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 mutsip. For the sake of growth, for the sake of diversity, you need different investors in one business, PSL business. So this PSL thing is just an example of that. Why so much power upon one person when you have got so many companies that still want to invest on the same thing? There are many companies that want to invest. By the way, when they terminated Declared Africa, do you know that there are allegations that this company did not want to leave, but they were forced out? Why? So that somebody can have absolute power. The danger of that is that we, we will be told by one person what to do. And we must follow that person's lead. But if we've got diversity, they can vote and decide, ah, not this direction, this direction. But now you've got one, you've got, you are given power to one man. So whatever he decides, it goes. That's, a, that's my problem. Speaking about my problem, what will happen if you get the land? Is there a clear plan that, okay, when we get this land, it get automatically get transferred? Isn't it? There's no one, right? Hmm. So, how do you think you're going to be successful in getting the land back? Just saying. Just saying. How, gonna, how do you think? Because there's not, that, that process is not necessarily transparent. Not at all. It's not transparent. So, how do you think you're going to get it back? That's a very interesting question that we have to ask ourselves there. Because it determines a lot of things. It's a very, 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 very important question to ask. But wait, wait. What do you say about the Minister of Justice, the one who invested in VPS or got a loan of above half a million? But nothing happens to them. Why? Because they're politicians. ANC tells us that, no, she's going to account. I said, duh, account? What do you know about accountability? Nah, I'm just thinking, guys. I'm just thinking out loud, and I happen to have a mic next to me. <laughs> I'm just thinking about loud. I'm thinking out loud. I'm just, I just happen to have a mic next to my mouth. So that's why you are able to hear what I'm saying. I'm just thinking to myself, what do you think about account- accountability? Because, I mean, guys, don't, never mind me. I'm sleeping. I'm dreaming. You know? What do you think about accountability? Because um, there's a man there who's accused of squandering millions there. The millions came... Uh, and then they went to the airport, and then they went to his farm, and then they disappeared in his farm. And then he, oh, I mean, let me just wake up, guys. I was dreaming, sorry. I'm just thinking, I'm just dreaming, guys, about these things because the, these things are worrying me. And then this person just says to you, "Oh man, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you, uh, hey, you know, I'm a man of integrity." We said, "Hey, where, where, man? What is integrity, <laughs> Hey, what is integrity?" Angas. Should I go back and shave again? I don't know. Because me, when a person tells me about integrity and I have to ask myself a question. Don't worry, guys. When I'm watching, when I'm looking there, I'm actually watching myself there on the screen as I'm recording this video. That video is being displayed somewhere there. I'll show you one day. I'll definitely show you. I need to show you. So, yeah. Um, there's the issue of, uh, there's the issue of Solima Pail. And I, I know in the beginning I said ACTP, which is a mistake. Uh, Solima Pail and uh, the Secretary General of the ANC, Figel and Balula, they say there's got a problem with verbal diarrhea. So they are saying, hey, we're not, we've got a problem with verbal diarrhea and we won't care 
We don't give a damn. Not even assuming pull about you. And I'm like, hey, Nina, that's the Secretary General of the ANC. You can't say that to. Th-. They're like, hey, Bongan, shut up. We don't care. We don't give a damn. Not even assuming pull about. And I'm like, hey, Nina, this person has got bodyguard. And they're like, hey, Bongan, we don't care. We don't, we don't care. We don't give a damn. Not even assuming pull about bodyguards and everything. Till I was saying, hey, hands off our Secretary General. Hands off, Secretary General. Where to? 